So if you've bought a new shoe chair, which I have to say so far, so good, um, you'll be putting it together and um, it's fairly self-explanatory and fairly simple. Um, but there's a couple of little things that did confuse me and I thought it was probably quite good to share with you um, in case you experience the same thing. So the first one is the, oh, you get these gloves as well. They give you these lovely gloves, um, as you can see, quite black already. And I think they're probably hoping that you do a how I made it video. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing white gloves. But basically, when you put on the armrests, here's where you would sit. Make sure the armrest angle goes like that. Okay. Now, when you look at the instructions, um, what I did was I was looking at this and I was thinking, okay, the armrest sticks further forward. But when they arrived, they were like that so I put them around the other way but actually these move it's quite difficult to move it when I've got really busted it's quite difficult to move it when I've got this here so just like that there we go so you move these anyway but just make sure they're fitting that way like that okay um it says as well that fix the armrest to the seat uh, cushion with the six PCs small shims and six PCs M620. Now, a couple of things here. The shims are these. These tiny little, well, I suppose what we would call washers, but they call them shims. Okay, and you obviously need to put one of them under each screw. If I just lift this one up. One under them under each screw so that it tights, um, bites and, and tightens in quite nicely. Okay, so make sure you put them. You'll notice that I've got three here and another screw. There are spare ones in the pack. So um, it did confuse me for a little bit. And I thought, okay, what have I done? Have I missed something? But there are additional screws and um, washers or shims in the pack. Now it is fairly heavy, so you might want to get someone else to help you, especially this base bit. It's um, quite a heavy weight. Um, and trying to move around and fit everything in on your own is, is quite challenging. When you come to put the back of the seat on, okay, you'll look down and you'll see that there's a number of different holes. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, uh, use the ones that are most likely to um, give the right support. So obviously, if you're kind of average size, you probably want to use these three here. And if you're slightly bigger at the back, um, you might want to use these three here. And obviously, then that gives you a bit more seat um seating space at the back but the actual chair surface is quite large um it feels like a big giant chair so i wouldn't worry um i won't worry too much about that it's probably best to start off with those three and you can always move them same with the armrests i'd probably put the armrests flush back to the uh, point here but as you can see you've got all this gap here where you can obviously move the armrests out if you've got particularly long arms um and that way then you are, uh, you know, it's kind of customized to your, your size. Now, when you come to put the back on, the easiest way to do it, rather than try and do it on the floor, is actually to place the chair onto a surface so it hangs off slightly onto the floor. And then you can place the um, back of the chair on top and you've got a bit of support from the bottom um, obviously I need an extra hand to be able to do that but that's probably a better way rather than trying to lay it on the floor and then um, screw the things to it so you can obviously lay it like that um, and then fit it onto the onto the ground and you've got a bit of support there you can also push these down these go down so that um, you've got a little bit more height or you can higher them up if you want need the height as well Another trick to use or tip is it comes with a lot of cardboard and uh, polystyrene and um, bubble wrap as well. And I would probably use this underneath the chair when you're putting it together. So rather than have it, you know, if you're doing it on carpet, fine, but obviously there's a wooden floor and it might scratch. Um, or or not, not worried about the wooden floor, but I'm thinking it might scratch the, uh, the chair. So you can lay this underneath. Um, it's quite good to support you. I'd also suggest as well that when you're using the screws before you put them in, uh, put the shim or the washer in so that then you're ready to go. 
uh, and I've been using a little handheld electric screwdriver which is quite good um, which makes it a bit easier although the tool that they have is quite good and you get a lot of torque or turn on it as well which is uh, which is really useful okay so when you come to put the back on what you want to do is find these bits here these recesses and then on the back of here you can just see there's some lips and what you want to, be able to do is slide that into there and that's then going to uh, screw in the top here and connect to that um, so you don't want to mount it like that you want to make sure that slides in there and that will then fit nicely so I recommend that you get the uh, screws in like that and then once you're happy Obviously line them up and then tighten them up and your back will be in place.